Hi my friends, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be trying out a new product and also a new brand. Um, as you can see from the title, we're gonna be trying out some products from One Size Beauty by Patrick Starr. This is my first time trying anything from the One Size Beauty line, so I am excited to talk about this with you guys. I will say I have had these products for a minute, I just hadn't gotten around to using it and reviewing it for you guys. So here we are. I do have the products applied already. As you can see, I have my full face done. So stick around for the demo and application portion, but let's get into a little bit more details regarding these products. The two products that we are going to be talking about today is the first one is the Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio. And this is our outer packaging in the unicarton. It comes with, again, three shades, um, a flex cream, a full impact matte, and a hyper sheen. The flex cream is meant to be a versatile cream to underpaint and overpaint. The second full impact matte shade is meant to be a blurring matte and built with buildable intensity. And the hyper sheen is an eye catching glow and seamless finish product. It says here to use apply desired blush or layer shades using a brush or fingertips to blend out. This guy retails for $36 and comes in three different shades. This is the inner packaging. So you'll see it's a pink component with the red lettering versus the outer box, which is red. And uh, we've got the names of the shades on the back. The shade that I picked up the trio shade that I picked up is Very That. Let's go ahead and open it up. So we've got a mirror here and here we have our three shades. So we have our cream shade at the top and the shade is called Sugar BB and it does have a little protector flap here to protect it from the powder products. The second shade is the powder uh, matte blush shade called Seeking Gen and the Hyper Sheen shade in Ova. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. Let's go ahead and do some swatches, starting off with the cream product. So that is the cream shade right there called, again, a Sugar BB. I just did a light swatch. It does seem to be pretty pigmented. I feel like blush swatches, um, like complexion products, powder complexion products, swatching is not always that accurate. Um, and this is the powder blush shade um, on my finger. Okay, so we've got the powder blush shade right there for you. Looks like a peachy pink. And lastly, we've got the hyper sheen shade. So that's what it looks like on my finger. Oh wow, that is really pretty. Okay, so we have the Hyper Sheen shade right there called Ova, and that looks like a really pretty peachy, more peachy than pink um, gold glow. I really like that shade. And the second product that we are going to be talking about and reviewing is the One Size Made for Shade Bronze and Sculpting Trio. So here's our outer packaging. Like I said, it's a trio, so it comes with three shades. Uh, the first shade is a shading shade, which is meant to be an everyday all over bronzer. The second shade is a warm glow without shimmer. It's meant to bronze. And the third shade is our sculpting shade, meant to contour, to shape, and define. It says here, apply desired shade or shades using a brush and blend out. And here is the inner component. This is definitely the type of component that you are going to get finger print marks all over it. It is red on red. So let's go ahead and open it up. Again, this comes with the mirror as well. And here we have our three shades. So the shade on top, which is meant to be the everyday all over bronzer called Legacy Honey. The second shade, which is meant to be the warm glow without shimmer bronze is masterpiece and the sculpting contour shade down here called don't try it and i got my trio in the medium shade stay tuned on my thoughts about that let's go ahead and get some swatches okay so i went ahead and swatched all three shades for you guys 
going from top to bottom, same as in the compact trio. So the first one here, which is the Everyday All Over Bronzer, again in the shade Legacy Honey. The second shade is the Warm Glow Without Shimmer in, in Masterpiece. And the last shade is the Contour and Sculpting shade in Don't Try It. As you can see, they are really pigmented. I went in kind of one swipe. So this again is the Medium Trio. Both of these trios come in six different shades each. They both retail for $36, which is a pretty reasonable price in my opinion. A more higher end, obviously not a drugstore price, but um, one size beauty is sold in Sephora and Sephora does tend to carry more um, high-end to luxury products so it makes sense for where it is being sold. I will say um, I tried my hardest to not watch any dedicated reviews on these two products before filming. I did end up hearing oh, two or three other beauty content creators on YouTube's their um, brief opinions on these because they had mixed it in within other videos. Um, so I tried to skip over as much as possible, but from what I did hear and watch from those other beauty content creators, the things to look out for for this product is number one, it's really pigmented, and number two, with the made for shade bronzing trio the promotional pictures and um, the shades online when you see it tend to lean a bit more deep in person compared to um, what it looks like online and i will say right off the bat um, before we get into the application portion i feel like that rang true for me when i ordered, ordered these products and i got them off of the one size beauty website um, based off of the description and the photos online i went with the medium trio in the made for shade bronzing product but upon receiving it and using it as you'll see in the application portion i do think i probably should have gone with the light trio so for those of you that are considering picking this up if you are between two shades of the bronzer i would recommend going for the lighter of the two especially if you're not able to check it out in person and um, try it out. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the demo portion and we'll come back at the end with my final thoughts. As of right now, I went ahead and did my base and my concealer. The only part of my face that I have set right now is under my eyes. And I haven't done any of my typical uh, cream contour, cream bronzer, or even my cream blush. If you've been on my channel for a bit now, you'll know that I like to do a layer, I guess, of cream bronzer, contour, and then cream blush when before I set my entire face and then go on top with the powder products to help it last longer throughout the day. And I didn't do that today for two reasons. First reason is in the blush cheek clapper from one size, we actually have a cream blush in there that we're gonna try out. And then also I wanted to be able to showcase the powder products on their own so we can see how they work and um, their pigmentation. So today for my base, I am using a new primer to me. Um, this primer has been out for a while. It's from Ulla Hendrickson, and this is the Banana Bright Face Primer, the Vitamin C and Banana um, Primer. This is my first time ever using it. I have, as a foundation, my NARS Light Reflecting Foundation, and for concealer, I have my Jouer High Coverage Liquid Concealer, as well as a little bit of my Beauty Creations Concealer um, so far. The Cheek Clapper Trio that I picked up is in the shade Very That. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So we have kind of that shimmery, highlighty blush topper shade. We have the powder blush and then we have the cream blush right here. So what I'm gonna do uh, with the cream blush, like I said, we are gonna apply that first um, since I haven't set the rest of my face and this is gonna be kind of out of um, routine for me. So because the component is um, kind of a little bit smaller than usual, it's not round, I usually use this type of brush to dip into it, but I'm gonna use a more tapered brush to pick up some of the product. And I tried to not watch too many reviews, I tried to not watch any reviews actually of these products, um, but some of them were featured in like, in videos that mentioned a bunch of other products and one of the things that I did pick up is it's supposedly very pigmented. So I'm taking about that much on my brush 
and I'm gonna start very lightly and I didn't pick up very much and here we can see how the shade is showing up it's a really pretty color seems to be blending really well I usually try as much as I possibly can to um, do my cream blush before I set my under eye just to prevent the powder and the cream mixing didn't do that today where I sh when I should have so I'm putting this a little bit further down than I usually would just because I don't want it to mix right here hey so there we go with the cream product looking up close it seems to have blended really well. It's not lifting my foundation. It's not patchy. I do have quite a bit of acne scars here, so I don't, so it is accentuating it a little bit, um, but that happens with most cream products for me because my acne scars are really pigmented. I think I'm gonna pick up just a little bit more. So there we go. I don't want this to be super bright because we are still gonna go over it with the powder product. Okay, so here we have the cream product on. And like I said, the trio is the shade Very That and the cream shadow, cream shadow, and the cream blush is in Sugar BB. So let me go ahead and set my face with my setting powder and then we will dive into the powder bronzer and the powder cheek products. For my setting powder, I'm using one of my favorites. This is the LC setting powder in the shade medium. If you haven't tried this out, I highly, highly recommend. I'm on my second one and I just kind of swirl my brush all over and press this into the skin. And so we'll see how the cream product does with the powder over it okay so we have this side that's powdered and this side that is not so you can see it has taken away a little bit of that pigmentation keep in mind I didn't apply a whole lot of the cream product basically with the cream product I'm just giving my powder product a base um, to help with longevity So here we go, we have the face set. I absolutely love this powder, highly recommend. So the order in which I usually do my makeup is I usually go, I usually do my bronzer before I do my blush. Um, so we're actually gonna dip into the bronzer trio right now. Um, I picked up the trio in medium and from, like I said, the couple by accident reviews that I have heard, these are supposed to be super pigmented and so I probably could have gotten away with doing the light. So I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. So we have the shade here, which is, um, if you're looking at it straight on, this is the bottom shade. This is supposed to be the sculpting shade. It's a, it's a contour to shade and define the middle shade is the bronzer which gives you a warm glow without shimmer and then the first shade or the top shade again I'm holding it upside down this is supposed to be your everyday all over bronzer before my bronzer brush I'm gonna be using this kind of angled brush from Alamar cosmetics this is the complexion brush um, I like to use this for bronzer or even sometimes blush and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip into I'm actually going to grab another brush from Alarmar Cosmetics, and this is actually their brightening brush, but I'm going to use this to dip into the contour shade. So again, the contour shade is the one on the bottom. Um, I'm holding it upside down, so I'm going to do just a little bit of contour. So dipping in right here, kind of on the side of the brush, you can see right there how much was picked up. That looks like a little much, so I'm just going to pat it a little bit on the back of my hand, and I'm going to place it right Ooh, yep, that's pigmented. So you can see right there. I'm gonna try and just use whatever was left on the brush and put it on the other side. And blend this out. Okay, I think I might have gone a little heavy handed with that application because I feel like this line right here is not 
blending out or maybe it's just mixing with my acne scar I picked up a little bit more and I'm going with a gentler with a more gentle tapping and I think that's better yeah so I think you can see a bit more of the shading this right here is an acne scar so um, that's not the contour powder other side Okay, this side looks much better. Um, again, I have less acne scarring on this side. Um, and so I think that's contributing to it looking better. And then I am gonna take a bit more to go just on the jawline. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to that original Alamar Cosmetics brush that um, I had picked up and we're gonna dip into the middle shade and the top shade. So again, this is the all over bronzer shade and this is the bronze warm glow um, without shimmer per what it says on the Unicarton. I'm gonna go with a light hand into both. So dipping first into that top shade and into that second shade. Ooh, did you see how much, did you see that powder that kicked off there? And so I'm gonna take the brush with the pointed towards my ear <clears throat> and starting at the very back and lightly pressing whoa that's pigmented hmm yeah so those reviews that said they're really pigmented and go with the lighter shade they are 100 percent correct so if you are deciding to pick up this bronzer trio i would say from the pictures and the promos um the shades don't look that deep which is why i decided to pick up the medium so i would say if you're like my skin tone and you're deciding between the medium and the light go for the light um i think that'll work just fine it'll be easier to control i'm gonna dip just a little bit more back in to kind of match the side i feel like this side is way more pigmented compared to this side same thing, the pointy side of the brush towards my ear. And just with whatever's on the brush, I'm gonna take it down on my jawline. I'm gonna do a little bit here on the forehead. I don't have a, a really big forehead, but I do like to bronze it up so it helps warm up my face. Okay, so here we have the bronzer applied. Um, to be honest, upon first impressions, I'm not like, I'm not like jumping for joy just yet. I kind of, I don't like how it's accentuating my acne scars on the side and is making it look, um, in my opinion, a little muddy. Now that could be because I went in with a little too much product. This is the side that I applied first. Um, so it maybe I just picked up too much product again I would say the product in terms of pigmentation is a hundred percent um, but maybe go for a shade lighter than what you think you would need based off of the pictures unless you're seeing it in person because this side does look really nice and bronzed and warm and I do like the way it looks here but again I have way less acne scarring on this side so when I am using a bronzer I would rather my acne scars not be a factor in terms of what one side looks like another on my forehead it looks really good um, I like the tone I like the shade I like the blendability but again I have a pretty clear forehead no acne scarring so it looks really good in terms of this whole area here I'm liking this area not a fan with the bronzer i think we've pretty much covered up any cream blush that i applied um so yeah <laughs> keep that in mind so let's go back into the blush trio so we're gonna go in with the powder blush and this is called seeking gen for my powder blush i'm going to be using a fluffy brush this is from wet and wild from their little twin stars sanrio collection and i'm going to dip right in so I picked up about that much. We're going to lightly, whoa, pigment. We're going to tap that to blend it out. Oh, that is a pretty color though. That's a really pretty color. Holy moly, that is pigmented. 
I didn't feel like I picked up a lot. Yeah, that looks really pretty. Okay, let's go ahead and pick up a little bit more. I think I'm gonna do a little bit less and go over on the other side. Okay, so I picked up a little bit less and it's looking, I like it more on this side. Again, less is more with these products, guys. We're learning the hard way. I picked up just a smidge more to kind of help make the two sides even. All right, so here we go with the blush. I think the blush is definitely a winner. I'm liking that. And let's go ahead and dip into the, let's see, it's, I called it a blush topper. It's the Hyper Sheen. Um, it says it's meant to be an eye-catching glow and seamless finish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that same brush that we use for blush, and I'm going to tap in a little bit, and I'm going to lightly dust over. Look at that glow it gave. I really hope that's coming off on camera, but that is really pretty. And I did maybe two soft dips, like, so one, two, that's it. Tap off, and then I'm kind of brushing it on the high points, my cheekbone. Let's do a little bit. I'm not trying to be super precise with this, and I'm basically using this as highlight at this point. So there we have the blush application. Um, I'm gonna say that Hyper Sheen shade, I really love the blush, the powder blush. I love the shade, but again, very pigmented. So go really easy on how much you pick up on your brush. I would recommend using a fluffy brush versus a dense brush, just so you're picking up less product and you're able to move it around. I think as of right now, I if I had to pick between the two to recommend, I would probably recommend the blush trio over the bronzer trio because I feel like it's easier to work with. Um, not to say that the bronzer is hard to work with, but it is really pigmented. And if you get a shade that's too deep, you're gonna have a harder time working with it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and then we will come back for my final thoughts. Rest of my face is now done. Um, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to the eyeshadow that I used for my eye look today. I use this quad from Mellow Cosmetics in Athena. I absolutely love this quad, in particular this really beautiful olive green shimmer shade. If you haven't checked these out, I highly recommend. I did a video on them. I want to say sometime last year. I believe I have a, I believe my discount code is still active. Check the description bar below. Um, if it is active, it is an affiliate link, so keep that in mind. But regardless, if you decide not to use them, I do highly recommend this quad. I love it. Okay, so we have the final look and like I mentioned earlier, I used the Hyper Sheen shade in the Cheek Clapper Trio as my highlight. So this is what we are looking at. So we have this side with more of the acne scarring, um, which I feel like now doesn't look as muddy as it did earlier. Let me know in the comments below if you guys see a difference. Um, and here is the other more clear side of my face. So I'm gonna say upon first impressions, um, I'm not like blown away by these products. I would say I think I, I'd be more inclined to recommend the one size bronze, the one size made for shade bronzing trio if um, maybe I had picked up the lighter shade. I feel like um, even though the medium is not like too dark for me because it's so pigmented and it's a bit deeper than what maybe I need for my skin tone, I feel like it looked muddy if you have a lot of acne scars or, or or really pigmented acne scars just be careful um especially with your shade matching it's really hard to say because again not to beat a dead horse but um this side to me does still look a little bit muddy compared to this side that actually looks really good um so i'm kind of on the fence about that product the Cheek Clapper Blush Trio, um, I am really enjoying. I wanna say I think I enjoyed the blush, powder blush and the Hyper Sheen 
more than the cream blush so far i think i need to play with the cream blush a little bit more before i give you guys my final recommendation so leave me a comment below if you would like an update on this cream blush maybe i'll do it like an ig story or a reel or something like that so to sum things up cheek clapper i do recommend i would say um this will probably be an easier one to just pick up any shade and go with it depending on your skin tone. Keep in mind it is pigmented, so go with a light hand. The Made for Shade Bronzer, if you are between two shades in the trios, I'm gonna say go for the lighter of the two. Um, that's probably gonna be your best bet unless you are shade matching in store. This may work for me later in the summer when I get more of a tan um, and depending on uh, how quickly my acne scars clear up. So that is my review of the one size made for shade bronzing trio and the cheek clapper blush trio. You know, sometimes we get products that are not a like yay right off the bat and that's okay. That's what the reviews are for. Um, just because it didn't 100% work for me doesn't mean it would not work for you. So if you have tried this product and are enjoying it, great, then continue doing that. And with that being said, we have come to the end of the video. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Leila. Thank you for checking out my channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button before you leave and leave me a comment below. And for those of you that are returning viewers and or returning subscribers, thank you so much. I love seeing you guys comment and interacting with my videos. If you are a returning viewer and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that and ring the bell if you want to get notified every time I upload a video. I usually upload once a week on Tuesdays. Occasionally we'll have two videos a week. Um, so that would be a Tuesday and or a Thursday at 10 a.m. PST. I hope you're having a great day or night wherever you are and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.